What's up? You're here with your boy Clarence back again with another episode of Young, Wild, and Free. And today our topic is surviving college. Today I brought in two guests from my school, the best HBCU in the world, North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University. So I'm going to go ahead and let these ladies introduce themselves to the audience. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Olivia Letsom, and I am a senior mass media production student at North Carolina AT. Hi guys, my name is Ariana Wyman. I am a graduating senior at North Carolina a t with a concentration in multimedia. Okay, let's go on and give them a round of applause. <laughs> okay, well let's get right into it. Today we're going to start with dating in college. Do any of you want to go first? <laughs> um, okay. So, dating in college. So you just want a general aspect of just dating in college. Just a general aspect, just to start off. You know what? Dating is fun. Dating, going on dates, hanging out is fun. And we put the feelings in it, messes everything up. But dating is fun in college. Um, <laughs> so what I can tell the girls is go on a few dates. Date. But don't get exclusive. So you feel like you shouldn't get serious? You should just have your fun in? You should once you find the one to be exclusive with. But you shouldn't start off being exclusive with all the boys. You just have a little fun. Not too much, not too many dorm room visits. Just a little, you want to go to the cafe, a public setting, okay. But not too much. Yeah. What do you think? I agree. I just kind of feel like, I don't know, like, guys are, ugh. It's just like, I don't know. I just feel like, I agree, have fun, like meet people, like of course like don't look for anything serious because I just don't think anything serious is here at college. Like I don't think, it, like yeah. I don't really think anybody's really like trying to be on like some serious right. stuff in college. So I would just say like, like she said, like have an open mind and stuff, but try not to get in your feelings because right. a lot of people out here are sister wives. So what <laughs> advice would y'all give to someone who does catch feelings in college and is trying to manage that with school work and activities and also being in love at our age i think that oh uh advice just make sure that's the person that makes you a better you like if you're actually going to be with somebody like throughout your college years make sure you're being with somebody who pushes you who motivates you who wants to see a better you and that's just not there riding your wave. And then at graduation, he leaves you so high and dry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's all personal. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I think like for me, like what I would tell like my little freshman self in college is like, have a little bit more fun. Don't even be too closed off just because you're having fun. It's okay. He'll be fine. He'll be fine just like they expect us to be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Yeah, I agree. I would just say, I don't know. I just feel like when you go into school, I don't I don't think you should go in like with the mindset of being in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Like I think you should just come to have fun. Like you're here for school, like all that extra stuff is obviously fun and stuff, but like just make sure that you have your stuff together and your priorities together and your things together because like relationships and stuff like that kind of tend to distract people from right. like what they're really here for. So I feel distracted. like yeah. <laughs> so I feel like, very you know, distracted. I don't know, if I would tell my freshman self, I would just say like, I don't know, stick to what you're here for and like all of that other stuff is like playtime. Like Cause the boys come. Yeah. The boys, I mean. <laughs> like, so it's just kind of like. Come. Yeah, so I mean. And they go. <laughs> and they go. Okay, next we're gonna get into our next topic. We're gonna talk about time management. Is this something that y'all struggle with? Yes. During in college? To this day. To this day? To this day. Have it's, you, do you feel like you've gotten better with it or has it kind of been, it's still a major struggle for you? Um, I will say because I'm a senior right now, it's just bad. Like, mm. I just, you know, I, you, it's senioritis. Like, right. <laughs> you don't want to do go. nothing. Yeah. Like, I'm ready right. to go. Like, I'm kind of over everything. But I will say that if I, I wasn't a senior, like, I would definitely care more. I think for me, it was the pandemic that shifted my yeah. collegiate experience. Right. I felt like I was the best student ever. Mm. But after the pandemic, I was like, how is she a millionaire? She never took a class. Yeah. And I'm over here crying every two right. weeks. Yeah. Something's off. Like, something's off. So I think, like, my whole perspective on life changed throughout the pandemic, really seeing, like, what I want to do, the lifestyle I want to live. So although I do value college and I love it, 
I think that, I mean, my time management, it definitely kind of went out the way. But, like, when the pandemic came, I was like, yeah, I'm only kind of a student. Right. Like, And I can say the same thing. I can agree with that. I feel like before the pandemic, I was motivated. Like, I had a reason to go to class every day. Like, I was in college. I felt like a student. Like, yeah. after the pandemic, it kind of felt like I'm at home just doing work. Like, that's not what I came from. So I kind of lost my interest, especially even though, we got to come back that next semester, but it was like most of it was online. Yep. And I'm not an online learner. Like I need to be in person. I need to talk to my teacher. I need to see my teacher. I need to, you know, have that personal connection with them. So the pandemic definitely put a dent in in my college experience. But like now that we're starting to get better, um, it's 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 getting better for me. So I can say that. Yeah. So next we can talk about friendships. How do y'all feel about friendships in college? Are you? Do you have uh, healthy <laughs> friendships in college? Have you had some I, fallouts? I do have healthy friendships. I would say, like, I have felt like I found like my core group of people, but it took a lot to get there. Like, you know, I don't. Know, yeah, I would say it took a lot to get there, but I don't know. I just feel like in school, like, yes, you can have associates. Like, that's great to like, you know, right. meet people. Like, that's why we're here to connect, network, meet people, have friends, have fun. But I will say, like. What I had to learn is like, you know, these are my party friends. These are my friends that I study with. These are my friends that I can tell everything. Like, you have to put people in certain areas in your life. So like, you know, you won't be disappointed. And also like, I don't know, everybody don't need to know your business. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, yeah. just like. Everybody don't need to know yeah, your business. Yeah, everybody don't need to go out with you. Like, everybody no. doesn't need to go to the library with you. Like, you just have to like figure out how, like who goes here, and who goes there that's what I would say yeah I think for me with friends honestly like just being transparent I took a lot of losses with friends and I think that's probably because like I am the only child so I'm used to like okay she did me wrong it's okay like that's fine like and I think like very forgiving yeah like very forgiving like I think that was one of my biggest downfalls with coming to college and kind of being so open like, I think I should have been extremely, like, extremely closed off to start with and then opening it up. But I was just like, oh, my gosh, I have a roommate. Like, I have somebody who I'm actually spending a lot of time with. And being, like, the only child, I never had that. Right. It was always, yeah, I'll see my friends on the weekend or I'll see them at school. Like, I don't want to hang out. So um, I took a lot of losses with friendships. And it's crazy that I'm actually having to pay for it now. Mm -hmm. So I think you definitely have to find what works for you, but I'm extremely glad that I'm finding what works for me now before I move away and start my big girl job, then be in corporate America telling all the girlies why my man just cheated. We'll be right back after this commercial to talk about getting involved in campus and roommates. Don't go nowhere. Do you live in Greensboro or surrounding areas and are in need of your lashes to be done by the best? Well, Blossom Beauty Bar is the place to be. Blossom Beauty Bar is a black owned business located in the Four Seasons Mall. We accept online bookings as well as walk-ins. Wow, don't our clients look beautiful? Come get your lashes jazz by jazz. For booking and any questions, feel free to follow us at Blossom Beauty Bar underscore INC. Our DMs are always open. Welcome back to Young, Wild and Free. We're gonna get right back into it. And today we're gonna be talking about getting involved in campus. All right. So, um, for me, I ran for freshman class president, and then I tried to be an intern for SUAB, and then I tried to do RHA my freshman year, and I lost all three. But it was okay. I still found ways to get involved, um, but I do think the running for positions is overrated. Why do you feel like it's an overrated thing? I think that people get these positions and just being transparent. I can say this now because I'm a senior, but they don't do anything with them. No. They don't do anything with them, and it's not even that they don't do anything. They can't do anything. Like, you're Miss Barbie. You cannot do anything with it being freezing, raining, and 10 showers in there. Like, right. 
you can't do nothing. So I think that's the misconceptions of a lot of positions on campus. So do you feel like the positions are purposeless? Or like, do you feel no, like No, I do think that they are community service positions, but I think that should be like the... That should be communicated. That should be understood. That should be understood. That should be the running point. Yeah, that should be the running point. It shouldn't be because you're going to get us hot water. Right. That's not true. Right. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah, like, especially when we pay. We're literally going into debt. Here, so you can't get us hot water. Talk about some hot water. <laughs> 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 what were some of the events that you joined to um, get? Yeah, to so get? I actually came in as a transfer student, and it was very hard to like you know kind of start into like get involved and stuff. But like you know, I persevered. I still got involved, and I would say like. I just kind of went out there and like joined clubs because that's how like you meet people. So like I would definitely say like if you're a freshman, honestly any year, like you don't have to be a senior or a yeah. sophomore or whatever. Um, it's just like going out, like you meet people, you do some community service hours. So I, don't, I think it's great. Like I did serve on an e-board for um, 910 Aggies um, and I did do that, which is fun. I met people, Was we did great work. So. I would say, like, getting involved with, like, campus positions, I could totally see what you're saying. Like, yeah. is it really, like, for the community service or yeah. is it, like, clout? Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. But as far as, like, you know, joining, like, I don't know, the cooking club or, like, stuff like that, like, right. I definitely encourage people to do that because you can learn something as well as, like, you know, you get to meet people. Like, that's the whole point why we're here. So, right. yeah. And for me, I could say being an out-of-state student, joining organizations is what helped me, um, kind of find a family outside of my real family right. because yeah. being so far away you want to have that sense of community that sense of somebody got your back yeah. so joining those organizations is what kind of gave me that feeling out of college especially being a freshman coming in not knowing what's going on not knowing anybody that's what kind of let me put my foot in the door to start my college experience speaking of freshman year I know everybody had to stay on campus freshman year and you had to get a roommate <laughs> now was y'all roommates random or did y'all get to pick y'all roommates Mine was random. Yours was random. Don't, I mean, I know y'all don't be like if you're a so, like a freshman, like you don't know people. Get a background check. Get a background check. Get a background check. <laughs> get a background check. Get a That's how I be feeling. Get a full. Because <laughs> people get are nutty. Like they're nutty. Check. Like yes, I've had terrible roommate experiences. I don't even think I've had great like one single great story. I would say. Oh. So, what was your wor what's your worst story? <sighs> My worst story. Come on, tell us. Like, I'm trying to compare it right now. Y'all going to have to come back to me. Okay. We'll come back to you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think for me, okay, so my roommate, love her, love her, love her. She is one of my best friends. It's my freshman year roommate. Um, me and her got into it one time about the air. Because it was pouring down, raining outside. I just came in. You know the rooms, they shift temperature so quick. So I was like, let me turn the heat on real quick, warm up. She comes in, she turns it down. So we did argue about that, because I'm like, I'm literally dripping freezing. Somebody's in our shower. Like, give me a second. So we argued about that. And ever since then, like, we've never argued again. Um, sophomore year, I had a roommate from, no, no, sophomore year, I wasn't single. My junior year, I had a roommate from hell. <laughs> don't ever get in an apartment with a random person. We're, yeah, seriously. Don't ever no, do a full background. Yeah. Right. yeah. Or with do a full a background check. random person, don't ever do it um i think that's all i can say yeah. that's appropriate yeah yeah so the breakdown is know your roommate know who you sleeping with okay because in a college dorm you're literally sleeping right next to them it's like one you're this bedroom. Close. yeah it's like sharing literally sharing one box like y'all sleeping on top of each other so know or get to know because i know you can't always know your roommate coming into college i got a random roommate but luckily my roommate was cool he was a cool dude and we actually <laughs> end up being neighbors this year on accident like we didn't plan it but so oh, i wow. still keep in contact with him so i got lucky and i got a